And what you get here, right, you're right on the border of Shaker, so you kind of get a lot of that, like, good juju, so to speak. We have the seller and his crew of handymen are still out there renovating it the time we went out there. Hey, crack kills, y'all! Woo! You know it's a good renovation when the guy doing it is rocking the plumber's crack to that extent. You start. Yeah. Hello. I don't even have any of my stuff. Do you have yeah. anything you want to say? Happy Friday. Oh, yeah. I got Funyuns in my lunch. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. I got a treat for Cleveland investors today, man. 12614 Forest Ave, right? This is a duplex we have listed at 99.9. And the thing about this duplex that makes it such a treat uh, is its location, okay? It's right over there by Shaker Square, Buckeye Shaker, and like uh, the, the border of Shaker Heights in Cleveland, okay? Like Van Aken, a few streets over from this. That's kind of like where it switches over to Shaker. And if you guys are paying attention to what we're putting out there on Holton Wise TV, the content we're trying to teach you guys about the Cleveland market, you would know that Shaker Heights uh, is a municipality, separate city from Cleveland, uh, that by and large uh, is of a higher scale uh, in regards to the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, right? If you've never read the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods in and around this video somewhere, there's a link where you can read it. In that guide, I've graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F grading scale. Uh, I've done it for investors based upon property values, risk, vacancy, things of that nature, right? So just like when you're in school, yo, A, B, right? Better than a C and D, okay? The majority of stuff that investors are buying in Cleveland, right? You're going to be dealing with like C-grade stuff and, and lower, okay? Shaker higher than that. And what you get here, right? You're right on the border of Shaker. So you kind of get a lot of that like good juju, so to speak, right? You get like the fact that a lot of people want to live in Shaker, shop around that area, be close to that area. But you don't have to pay Shaker Heights pricing, number one. Number two, you don't have to deal with the Shaker Heights point of sale violations. And then number three, probably the biggest, you do not have to pay Shaker Heights tax rate because the tax rate in Shaker is like the highest in all of Northeast Ohio, right? Pretty much in the entire county, right? So this is like kind of like the best of both worlds, right? If you're going to be on the border of something, you want to be on the border of something going up, right? But you still get to benefit from the pricing, right? So 100K is what the duplex will run you, 99.9, okay? And what we have is one unit that's totally vacant and another unit paying below market rent. They're paying 550. Market rent for these units right now is at least 875. Now, this vacant unit, uh, as you see uh, from my guys walking it, we have the seller and his crew of handymen are still out there renovating it the time we went out there. Hey, crack kills, y'all. Woo! You know it's a good renovation when the guy doing it is rocking the plumber's crack to that extent. Now, I am not making fun of this man because I myself have been known to operate with the utmost, biggest plumber's crack there can be, y'all. If you're not operating with a plumber's crack, are you really renovating a house? It's like when you go to buy food. If I notice that the chef is a big, fat, authentic Italian man, I know that's going to be the greatest spaghetti ever, right? Well, you got to take that same thought process and apply it to your real estate. If you see the guy out there working with that type of crack, y'all, you know he knows what he's doing. So this renovation is going to be done to a tip-top level. And as a matter of fact, uh, they finished up their renovation. It was actually a few days uh, after my guys were in there doing this tour for y'all. So they sent us some pictures. Uh, so we're obviously putting them up on the screen. I'm assuming my guys are putting them on the screen for you guys now, right? So they finished up that reno, right? So more or less, you pretty much have this unit rent ready, ready to rock and roll, right? So as soon as you take this thing over, you're going to be able to rock this bad boy out for eight seventy five, And then it's going to be up to you uh, how soon you want to get that other tenant paying five fifty up to eight seventy five, right? Uh, in my opinion, I think investors make the most money by going slow, okay? That doesn't mean I would let them stay there at 550, okay? They're on month to month, right? So it's a 30-day 
uh, notice that's required by law, okay? I probably wouldn't go 550 to 875, but I would definitely not allow them to stay there for anything under 750, right? There's no scenario where they can find any comparable apartment anywhere near $550 a month with this size in this type of location, right? Uh, but I don't want to, like, force their hand and get them to move out. Not that I don't like money, not that I wouldn't want to collect 875 out of the unit. But the thing is... The longer we get our tenants to stay in our units, folks, the more infrequently they move in and out, the more money we as landlords make, right? So I would probably go 750 this year and then next year get them up to 875, right? By doing it that way, right? The bang, the impact, it's not as big, it's not as dramatic, and you're still a little bit under market rent, right? So your tenant, obviously, if they're paying 550, you go up to 750, they're going to be a little pissed off at you. But they are going to look around and see, oh, I can't really get anything that's of this size in this location for 750, so it's in my best interest to stay. They stay. You don't have to bring in a crew to totally redo your unit because you're going to need to do some work to this unit, obviously, after they move out, right? Units don't look the same after tenants have been living there for like 10 years and they move out, right? You're definitely painting, probably fixing up the kitchen, the bath, things of that nature, right? So you'd like to avoid that as best you can, as most, as you, most often as you can, right? The more times that people come in go the more money you're spending as an investor, right? So that's how I do it. But again, month-to-month -month tenants, so it's totally up to you. You just got to give a 30-day notice. Uh, one other thing to note, this property is not lead certified, but as you see from the footage, it's got the nice vinyl siding out there, right? So it's already encapsulated there. So going through the lead process, I do not anticipate it costing you too much money. It should be on the very low end of the spectrum here because the biggest thing is going to be like getting uh, your property vinyl sided. If we had like wood siding with a bunch of peeling paint, you'd be spending a, a big amount of money. But this is already vinyl sided, so that's pretty good for you. Uh, if you need to know more about how the lead certification process works, I need you to watch the lead certification video I put out there. Uh, we'll link that somewhere around the video, above, below, in the notes, depending on what platform you're watching your Holton Weiss TV on. You'll see that link. It's a half-hour video where I explain how the lead certification process in the city of Cleveland works. It's not one of those scenarios where I could just spit out to you a quote right now. Uh, it does not work that way. The process of getting a quote is actually going to take a little bit of time, and that's what that video will explain. Uh, but anyway, you shake it, though, folks. For 100 k this deal is a banger, and if you'd like to buy it, which I'm sure many of you will, what you'll need to do is submit your offer to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If you're paying proof, include your proof of funds with your email. If you're financing it, that's totally cool. Include your pre-approval. If you want to finance it but you don't yet have a lender, shoot us an email, let us know. We'll hook you up with our lender list, lenders who will write loans to investors just like you, in all 50 states on 30-year terms with 25% down, and we even have lenders that will work with people out of the USA, although your terms will not be as favorable, so you'll just need to get our lender list and discuss your specific terms with them when they figure out who you are, what country you're from, and what kind of money and credit and all that jazz. Let's go. Oh shit, another car. Car. Cars. It's like playing fucking basketball out in the street. Cars, car. There's another car. Car. This could go right there. Cool. There you go. <laughs> Did you start? Yeah. I don't even have any of my stuff. Do you have anything yeah. you want to say? Happy Friday. Oh yeah. I got Funyuns in my lunchbox. Give them a little thumbs up. <laughs> You're gonna film me too. <laughs> yeah, close up on the grill. Oh. Hang on, you ready? That's the kind of shit. YouTube, I'm getting wild. I'm using like cabinet screws. <laughs> nice. Mm. Just Ooh. screw it in there all the time. However, it lands. I think this guy doesn't be confused that there wasn't a sign here and then nah, man. the end of the day there is. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He won't even notice. He's gonna go lock up and be like, huh. Fucking gloves, man. Can't have any warm hands Whoa. around here. Dude, hurry up. I'm almost done. I'm not trying to say anything negative, but that is not square. That is not square. Are you serious? Yeah. 
It seems it's pretty cool. close, though. Yeah. It, no, from, it's good. It's fine. From the street. No, honestly, dude, I think the house isn't square. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.